Hi Simon. Hi. Uh, can I pick your brains? Sure. I have yeah. just been done with Edie and seen this 88 year old who came in with the fall. Okay. She hasn't suffered any obvious injuries. She good. looks pretty good. The you know, near patient testing plus looks good. Uh -huh. Can I just send her home? Is there anything I need um, to do? Probably you need to work out a few things first. So did you okay. have a sinkable fall or a non-sinkable um, fall? Not sure. I mean, it sounds like a mechanical fall, but I, but I really can't tell. Okay, so you know about the recall bias and they don't always remember that they've had a fall and that they've had syncope. So would any objective findings that might make you think about syncope, like facial injuries, anything like so, that? So yes, I mean, that, not that you mentioned, it goes back to something I've been taught before. So, so yes, no, there is no evidence of her having suffered an injury to the face. So, um, and actually, um, she did mention a little uh, kind of abrasion to the hand, so, so I'm assuming hand. yeah, probably. Okay, so let's assume it's a non-sinkable fall. Okay. So there's five key things you just need to think about before okay. we go home. First thing will be assess her vision, because you're not very good at standing up if you've got poor vision. So has her vision? Uh, no, it, it seems fine. She had her glasses on, okay. which were not broken. Good, uh, good, good, she, good. She was, she was, she was okay. able to see clearly. Any problems with vestibular function? Any true vertigo? She didn't mention. Did you ask? No, I did not ask. Okay, so that might be useful. But I'll just go back check. and ask that, okay? And then the final bit of the sensory inputs is proprioception. So when I close my eyes, I can sway around and yep. fall over because I've got good proprioception. So things like arthritis, kyphoscoliosis, previous joint replacements. Nothing obvious. I did get her to get up and walk just to make sure Fantastic. she didn't have any, any, have any hip, hip, hip injuries, but, but she seemed okay. She okay. seemed pretty stable. When and she the brain seems to be working all right, yes. processing information well. Yes. I didn't do an objective test, but she is absolutely with it and was quite happy to have it. What's the muscle section? Good strength? Uh, wasted. wasted. Uh, she's got some muscle wasting. Okay. So it sounds like there's no major injury, so that's great. Nothing immediately obvious that makes you worry about it, okay. but we know that if she's come to hospital with a fall, she's going to fall again. Okay. So how about you refer us to the falls clinic? Okay. And see okay. if they can pick her up. Good. Is okay. That right? Yep, yep. So, so, in essence, what you're telling me is that, you know, basically uh, make sure she hasn't got any injuries due yep. to the fall, which was what I did, but then identify the causes the fall, of yeah. what could have caused the fall yep. and uh, bring her to a false clinic to do that assessment a bit better. And, and also the third thing, stop driving. Excellent. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you.